There we go. Stream started again, and my meters tell me I have audio now. Please tell me if you disagree, and I'll see what I can do about it. Awesome. So luckily I didn't get too far. Um, last week um, we did the elevator game. Looks like this. Hopefully my audio doesn't lag when I'm, I'm actually playing this. I had some issues with that last time, which makes absolutely no sense because this isn't, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, the, the very last thing we added last week was uh, when the elevator comes to a floor, there's passengers. Each passenger has like a target floor it wants to go to. Um, so this guy wants to go to floor three and the, the floor has zero index. So this would be floor zero. And all these guys want to go to floor one, two, three, one, two, three. So if I press up here, the elevator would go up here and everybody who wanted to go to floor one would just disappear. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, so now we got people wanting to go to floor zero and to floor three and two. So if you go back down to zero, all the zeros will disappear. Uh, one thing that I think is happening is that I'm doing this in the wrong order. So you can see like I'm sorting all the passengers to make them stand in the line, uh, but I'm also removing a bunch of passengers, which, give, which gives me the, like this uh, line with holes in it. It doesn't really matter because like they shouldn't be standing on the line to begin with. They should be... Um, like walking around and standing in the elevator and stuff, but um, uh, we'll see. But one thing I discovered is that I was really sloppy with committing whatever I did last time. So that I think that's going to be my first sort of order of business. Um, Just get these guys committed here. So what I did here is that I changed the building. I actually mo just moved the building into actors. Commit that. And now we got a nice fresh working directory. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna fix the, the sorting thing just to make it look nice. Uh, this is good because I've forgotten mostly how this game works. So the elevator would be doing something. Like the elevator is doing its moving thing. And then it goes stop at floor. And it tells us like it does a trace thing and then it tells the building that I am an elevator and I stopped at a floor. And then the elevator will, for every passenger in, in the passenger, like the passengers in the building, this is, um, it will check if this passenger has an elevator already, like if this passenger belongs to an elevator, we don't need to do anything. Um, or if this passenger doesn't belong to an elevator, we don't want to do anything because there's no, like with all this other stuff later here deals with the elevator. If the passenger's current floor is the same as the elevator's current floor, this passenger will enter the elevator that just stopped at this floor and the elevator will get a passenger, which is that passenger. So they will like get like attached to each other. Um, there might be a, a, a nicer way of, of the, like doing this because you are running the risk of a passenger being in two elevators. Like the passenger thinking it's in one elevator and another, like if I if I mess this up here, it will get weird. Uh, but that should be fine. 
And then it updates the queue positions. The question is, when does the passenger Enter elevator, exit elevator. So right, this guy right here uh, is what makes the, the passenger go away when it arrives at a floor. I think I'm gonna change this because it's it's better if the elevator just stops at a floor. The building knows that the elevator stopped at the floor. Um, so we'll do this instead. So if So instead of checking that it's like making sure the elevator doesn't have, uh, or making sure the passenger doesn't have an elevator, we're going to check if the passenger elevator is uh, this elevator. And then we tell the passenger uh, elevator stop at floor as well. Um, so this should work exactly the same in, with the, the, the added benefit of us like that. The, the passengers aren't actually checking every frame if they're at their floor or not. I got lost in everything. So building elevator stop the floor. If passenger elevator is this elevator. Um, and then we go else if Passenger elevator is not null, then do nothing for now. Always a good idea to write down what you're up to when you do a thing like that. Um, and then finally, we update the queue positions. I think this might still um, cost the um, What did I do now? Duplicate. Oh, sorry. Like the, the um, flash develop function generation thing almost always works, but not always. So far it works. Yeah, now we get the, the hollow. Uh, or like the, the non-neatly packed line, which is something we want to avoid. So, so what happens, I think, is the elevator hits a floor, tells the building, like, hey, I, I'm at a floor. The building tells the passengers, uh, hey, you're at a floor. Maybe the elevator should actually tell its passengers directly because it does have a list of the passengers. Yeah, that makes, makes much more sense. Let's do that. Question is, should I do that before or after telling the building? Hmm. I don't even know. Let's, let's do it after. Oops, this, shut up, Twitch. So four, passenger in passengers, passenger. Cool. Boom. 
Boom. So yeah, that still works. Uh, but again, the like the, the non-tightly packed line is happening. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to make Twitch not be stupid at the same time. It's very nearly working now. I mean, as you can tell, I'm not a professional streamer. Welcome to the chat room. Okay, 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 okay. Fixing the, the non tightly packed line again for the millionth time. So the elevator stops at the floor. Um, and who is responsible for arranging all the. Update queue positions. Mm, right. So I think what happens here is that yeah. So everybody gets added, but the, the trick is um like when uh, when this runs in the building. So all this stuff happens uh and the passenger finds out he's or she is at the correct floor. They run the, the kill function on themselves. Um, like this thing happen here, happens here. If current floor is target floor, kill. And kill doesn't really do anything immediately. It takes a little while for that to take effect because of reasons. So that will only be valid next frame. But there's one thing we can check and that's the property called is alive. So we gotta take that into account when we're doing the so if oh my keyboard's offset if passenger if not passenger is alive then we just ignore that passenger for now and they'll be gone by the time we hit the next update kind of works I don't know what's going on here doesn't work at all. Oh well. One thing that will for, for sure fix this is just removing it because it's not gonna it's not gonna stay in here forever. Um That's the best that's the best way of dealing with bugs. Just don't even fix them. Just remove the the thing that's causing them. <laughs> I, I guess that counts as fixing. So this feature is really buggy. Let's fix all the bugs by removing the feature. Um So I suppose the next step for it would be um I guess I should make them like slowly enter the elevator, like boom, 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 boom. That's not slowly, but yeah, anyway, just like actually walk into the elevator. And actually maybe, maybe it would make more sense to, uh, so right now the building is keeping track of all the passengers. What is happening? I think someone's spamming me. Hmm. 
That's weird. So yeah, you can you can tweet me and it will show up on the stream. That's pretty cool. Mm. This is this is like the drawback of not having an actual game design for the game you're making, just making it up as you go along. So they will have an enum that is passenger state. I suppose this can be several things. It could be waiting. Uh, I guess waiting. And then they can be, well, they can obviously be riding in an elevator. It's called that elevating. Uh, and then they can be entering the elevator and leaving the elevator. Let's call it something that's not ambiguous. I suppose that's good enough for now. Why does the... Oh, I see. So when a passenger is created, they're going to be waiting. And then should I actually, there might be a difference between like waiting in line and having the line like move up. Let's, let's do one for that as well. Let's call it moving. So anyway, the passenger starts in a waiting state. Uh, now I suppose you're gonna make a position thing for that. They have a queue position. Right, so they need two queue positions. They need an actual queue position and a queue position target. Yeah, well, yeah, the state stuff will be, I'll deal with that eventually. I'm thinking maybe I should just tween all of this anyway, because it's it's getting it's getting complicated. Boarding. I'm I'm sorry. I, I I'm not looking at the chat and it's it's delayed like a million years. So yeah, but boarding is a good uh, it's a good name for it. But then what's what's leaving like deboarding? <laughs> I don't even know what that term would be. Well, leaving's good for now.
Yeah, let's let's just tween this crap. I don't I don't have time to deal with anything else. Disembarking. Yeah, that's the one. Let's let's have that. That's So the, the, the two problems I have right now is that um, the, the problem I want to solve is that like the, the elevator gets to a floor. Somehow I need to work out what all these people standing in line here need to do. Ideally, they would just deal with it themselves. Um, somehow. So like this guy should like pop 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 get in the elevator and the next guy should pop 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 get in the elevator and the next guy and the next guy and the next guy so on until the elevator leaves or the elevator is full. Um, and ideally, I want to have the possibility of having one person. Like I don't want the second person in line have to wait for the first person in line to get into the elevator. So ideally, I can have two people entering the elevator at the same time. Um, somehow. Hmm. Let's So let's let's do this again from the beginning. So the elevator stops at a floor. It tells the building, like I have stopped at this floor. The, the building makes a bunch of passengers enter the elevator. And this, this thing right here is the one that can't be immediate anymore. Its state will be really go to the actually This is going to look like a big mess. And then it's boarding, 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 boarding. Yeah, this is, I think this is going to work. <coughs> cool, twice. Yeah, I, I could do that. Um, tweening to the result, but the thing is, I want to be able to have the elevator leave at any time. Um, so, like, the, it arrives at a floor, and then I don't necessarily need the elevator to wait for everyone. The elevator could just close the doors and get out of there. Um, and that would be a really ha really cumbersome if I do the the tweening, just like tween everything.
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the elevator deal with uh, who gets on and off. So it's going to keep the elevator, it's going to have two lists. It's going to have a list of actual passengers, like uh, people that are inside the elevator. And then it's going to have one called like in transit or something. But no, that doesn't make sense either. Do I need to actually add a floor to this? Maybe that's better. It doesn't help that I have to be talking constantly when I'm trying to work this out. No, the building, the building can deal with this. Do I have a way to know that an elevator is at a floor? I don't. So we'll do it this way. So whenever the elevator stops at a floor, it goes, is at floor true? And then in the update loop, if the elevation velocity is not zero or um, elevation target is not the same as elevation, it will not be considered to be at a floor. And we'll do this for testing. So have the elevator change colors depending on if it's on a floor or not. That's cool. And now How about the elevator requests a passenger from the Let's let's do it that way. So the elevator has like a little clock thing that's ticking.
I have a class to do that more easily. So every 0.2 seconds. It will request a passenger. Um, and then it will go building. Request passenger. This. Let's call it a request elevator passenger. Even. So now. We're not going to do this. I'm going to add people to the to the elevator when it stops at a floor. We're just going to tell uh, the passengers. Sorry, this is just not relevant right now. None of that. So the elevator, if is at floor is false, just return this. And whenever it stops at a floor, we can also go uh, to make it always have the same delay. Um, so now it will just go, I'll just steal this little snippet right here. So for every passenger in passengers, if the passenger's elevator is not null, we will just keep going. But if the passenger's current floor is the same as this elevator's current floor, for the passengers as well. Oh, just realized something. Graphics clear. That's a that's an important thing. If I don't have this call here, it would just keep keep adding more graphics to that object until it has enough graphics to like lag out the entire computer. Um, which is not what we want. So let's let's make a convenience function for this. So public bar is in elevator get and that can never be set. Function get is in elevator. And then we go, so this should be is in elevator. And this should be is in elevator, be one color. And if it's not in an elevator, it'll be another color. So let's just make it a darker pinkish hue. So far, nothing happens. Oh, I know. I forgot to update the cooldown thing. Uh... Get that. Morning, 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 morning. morning. That's pretty cool. So now, the building is telling like, hey passenger, you can enter this elevator. The thing is, it's not actually in the elevator yet. Um, 
So we'll do that. Uh, the passenger will do enter elevator. And then we'll do a function called enter elevator, or maybe enter elevator complete. And then we'll change the state to passenger state uh, elevating. And then we'll tell the elevators like, hey, I, I am in you. So that gives us a third state. So let's let's do this instead. Let's do maybe not a switch. Let's just let's just see. And obviously we're gonna add this. Yeah, and we'll, we'll I'll deal with the the actual uh, like transitions between the positions later. And then I'll go to boarding. And I suppose So this is problematic now because right now the passenger is dealing with its own position, which might not be the best idea. Um, well, we'll we'll get to that. I'm just going to commit some stuff now. I think. Oh, did I? What did I do there? It seems unnecessary. Let's just stage all of that and then do passenger state stuff. Hmm. Okay, so the problem now, or the thing I want to solve now, is this. There's no real, like, central location that knows where, like, the order of these passengers. So they, the Which is... I mean, that right now, that would include all of these. If I reset, it's like half of these now uh, as that transition goes. So the elevator doesn't really know which order they're in. The only one who knows which order the, the passengers are in is the, um, is the building, the building itself. Um, One thing I could do before I get into that is change the first.
So this never runs now, right? I think it doesn't. No. So let's do it this way. So I'll run as the elevator is stopped at a floor and a little thing goes. It will first do four passenger in passengers so if this returns true that means somebody got off so if then we'll just return there. And if it returns false, they didn't get off. So we can just keep going and see how that works. And it goes plop, 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 people entering. And we go up here. And I have no idea if that worked because we're not. Let's rename that to disembark. Makes more sense. And we'll do let's not let's not kill, but let's do states is Disembarking. See how that works. All right. Let's get rid of that. That was being called the function that wasn't being called. Everybody goes boarding. It's unfortunate that I can't see it's working. Let's let's do this instead. Let's do a little debugging. So now it shouldn't be running and ideally when I get here it should stop. It did not. Oh, right. It's because the elevator never gets the passengers. I'm just going to keep renaming these functions to match them up with the The actual state names. So board makes it go boarding, boarding complete makes it go elevating. Exit elevator. No. So disembark if the current floor is the target floor. It wish it's to stay too disembarking, and I think we'll set the elevator to null. 
and I didn't fix the actual issue because I am an idiot. Um, so when the passenger enters the elevator, it needs to go elevator add passenger. This this is this bit right here is going to be not here later, but it needs to be here now for me to check if this works. The the passenger got its the elevator got its first passenger. And it's checking if that passenger wants to disembark. This passenger does not want to disembark. So let's just see if it works in the normal fashion. So something happened, disembark. What's going on here? So four passengers and oh, I see what's going on. We need to actually remove that passenger from the disk from the list if it wants to disembark. <laughs> Is that someone just getting on and off at the same floor? That's amazing. But yeah, this person probably wants to go to this floor. So just be standing there. Getting on and off forever. That is adorable. So, in passenger, where it's actually requesting an elevator. We have to make sure that the passenger state is passenger state waiting. Getting off, getting on. It's really hard to tell if it's if it's working correctly, but in theory, if I go up and down here a couple of times, I should um, I should get everyone to the floor they actually want to be on. Are all these floor zero? They were, and now. Nobody wants to ride my elevator anymore. That is fantastic. I'm pretty happy with that. And I suppose, actually, for the passenger, it's not a huge deal that they're uh, added to the list of the elevator as they're uh, embarking. Mm. I'm 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 really happy with this now. It works. So all those people boarded. Oh wait, I, I know what to do. Passenger text. Um 
This might be a little bit more readable. Or you simply can't see it. That's cool too. See if this works. Of course not. What are the names of our waiting, moving, boarding? Oh, there are different letters at the beginning, all of them. So we can just do. Let's do one, one letter for each. So waiting, boarding, 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 boarding. And I suppose. Yeah, let's let's do one thing at a time. So yeah, boarding, 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 boarding. That's cool. The cool thing is I can I can leave like in the middle of, of a thing right now. Here and like you guys can get on. Then I can leave. I don't know why you would want to do that from like a gameplay perspective, but I can. Okay, let's Commit this crap. Uh, I write the worst commit messages I'm streaming. You just have to to trust my my judgment. Uh, so okay, now the thing that's gonna happen is that I, I absolutely have to fix the people walking. I think that's the that's the one thing I need to do right now. So the passenger has a Q position and a Q position target. I think this is the guy that has the update positions. So let's just do Q position target. And then we will have Actually, let's not do it that way. Let's do that and we'll interpolate these guys. And none of these should be.
So the building will go set queue position. Instead, And we'll have a public function called get queue position two, and that will use. Do I have these? I do. That's nice. So whenever I set the queue position, it will go queue position start is get queue position and queue. Position target uh, is um, this right here. Then we will work out uh, cube position time total is the target minus the start position divided by the speed. So let's just say it's, I have no idea, 0.2 right now. Uh, and then get queue position is going to return math utils lerp from the start to the target and the progress is going to be queue position time out of queue position time total cool yeah. That it's also going to be reset to zero. Plus equals delta time. didn't work. Something is probably zero. That shouldn't be zero. Um, let's debug and find out. So Q position start, zero. Get Q position. Oh, this might be the one. Does that? Yeah, not a number. So that's, that's not good. So if Q position start equals zero and Q position target is zero. Actually, no, that should be fine. It's just this one. <laughs> They're really slow. Let's make them a little bit faster. I think that might be pixels per second.
So it's trying to go to Q position zero. Oh, well, it's going to get to go to position one. It is currently at 26, which is alarming. So the Q position time total would be the position target minus the position start. So one minus 26 divided by two. Minus 12 is pretty Okay, that's not it. So let's just do if Q positions time total is less than zero, it will be zero because that's obviously not correct. And we'll see. This is not going to fix the issue. It's probably just going to make them stand still. Oops. Okay, let's do the next guy. Should be the same Q position time. Yeah. So get Q position. If Q position time total is zero, it will return zero. That's cool. How about if I want one that's not zero? This guy. So this guy has a Q position start of 4.5. It has a target of five. Q position time is 3.5 and the Q position time total is 0 0.2. Okay, th that's, I think I see what's going on here. First of all, that did not help. And then I think it's like, let's put a really small number here, see what happens. I need fewer passengers, that's what I need. Target floor is always going to be zero. What happened now? Oh, right. It's not target floor I want to mess with. It is the elevation. Which means I can um, more easily see what's going on with that. Update queue positions. That's what I want. So floor occupants, this, this little list it's keeping, it knows how many people are in line on each floor. And then it goes into a bunch of crap and then checks if the passenger's alive, they will be. It works out which floor the passenger's on. Doesn't the passenger have like a function for that? Yeah, it does. I'm going to make sure to clean this up as I'm going along. I think that's a better way of doing it. So where were we? Updating queue positions, setting the queue position of this passenger. 
So it's getting the start position, which is going to be zero for sure. So it's the position target, which is also probably going to be zero. That's fine. And it works out the time. So this is going to be one for this passenger right here. So this is the value I'm interested in. It's minus 10. Q position start, Q position target. That should make it be 10. I hope. Slowly, slowly, we're fixing this up. Don't need that breakpoint. We don't need that breakpoint. This is going to be the zero guy, and here's the one guy. So Q position target one minus Q position start zero divided by point one works out to be 10. It is setting the cube position again. Why is that happening? Is that it doesn't actually stop walking. So if time is here, then Q time total, Q position time is Q position time total. Did you see that? That's amazing. Let's try adding more passengers. Let's do 10. So now they're entering the elevator as well, which makes it confused. Not entirely sure why they go back to zero sometimes. What is the... Let's, let's see. So if I go here, boom. Passengers also at zero. We don't really care about that. Or is it messing up the. No, it's not. We got one person on that floor and another person on that floor. So, so far, so good. I don't really need a breakpoint on that line. I need it on that line. Another passenger on zero. Here's a guy that's supposed to be at one. He's at one right now as well. Uh, 
I have stepped too much. <laughs> I don't know where I am now. Cube position target three. Oh, I know. I should just return the cube position start here. I shouldn't return zero. I should return the cube position target. That makes more sense. That's what's going on. The people inside the elevator should probably be rendered inside the elevator. You are a very correct person with random letters for a name. One day. There are people getting off. Why is it? It shouldn't be doing that. It shouldn't be instant. Why is it instant? Okay, I suppose we'll have to do it again. Everybody get their position. There we go. And then we'll do that. I'm not very much interested in the zero because that's going to be funky always. So the key position start is one, the key position target also one. Cube position time, zero. Cube position time total is also going to be zero. Okay, I get another chance here. So cube position start is 4.4, cube position target 6, cube position time 0.7 out of 0.78. So that is essentially completed. How is it not already in the correct position? Oh, right, it, it would be that. I see, that makes sense. I wanna see this in action again. Like these guys are behaving <laughs> less wrong. <laughs> like that was that was one hundred percent correct for this floor, but this floor, not so much. Oh, am I being an idiot with the? Yes, I am. I have to do. I have to do that because it might be a negative value. Depends on the direction they're going in. Oh, is the sound staggering? I, I know what it is. Hang on. Let's see if that helps.
Would you look at that? Beautiful passengers walking around. Very well behaved. I'm going to celebrate with a biscuit. Ow. Oh, who wants to go to the fourth floor, rather? With a, with a sound staggering. It's something Flash players doing something uh, that eats up a bunch of CPU. Uh, not behave. I am happy with that. Um, passengers slowly walk to their target position. Um, so now, passenger, I'm going to do this in a, in a clever little way. So the queue position time is going to always be increasing, but that will only make sense if the queue position time is less than the total. Um, so if it is less than the total, we will add to it. If it ever exceeds, we will set it back and we will call a little function that is like arrived at position. And then we can go like if state is passenger state boarding, we should transfer into a new state. Elevating. Let's see, see what that's like. Is it lagging again? God damn it, flash player. Let's let's try. Let's try that. See if that helps. It's going to be noisier, but it might also not lag. Yeah, I agree. The animation should absolutely be faster, but just for testing now, it's easier to have it be slow. So now it's boarding, 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 boarding. And these two guys are embarked. Why aren't the other guys embarked? I see why. So when they board, their target position should always be it shouldn't really be Q position, it should be just position. Shouldn't it? Let's rename all the variables because this is what I'm going to use for positioning them inside the elevator as well. And that's not a queue at all. Compile that and see if it works. It did. Uh, and whenever they are inside an elevator, they should be going to be inside the elevator. And that should mean that their target position should always be zero. 
So it should be setting the queue position whenever it says, whenever it says board, it will set the queue position to be zero. Now the question is, how can I prevent this from being overridden? If stay, actually, let's let's just not do that. Guys, getting into the elevator. Yeah, some of them are like this is this is it getting overridden right there. So here, I suppose, where oh no, the building. So if the passenger is alive, it won't do it. Isn't alive, it won't do it. If the passenger state is not. Uh, waiting, it will also not do it. See if that works. Boarding, 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 boarding. Cool, disembarking. So if I do this little bit for the passenger arrived at position, else if the state is passenger state. And we'll do a set queue position of one here just to actually have them get out of the elevator. So whenever it arrives at its position, it will go back into the waiting state, let's say. All the guys are boarding. Now they go into the, like the disembark dance again. Um, we'll set the target floor to be minus one to make sure they don't get back on the elevator. So boom, 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 boom. Everybody gets on. I think the first guy in line still has embarking. Oh, I know why. I'm not entirely sure that worked the way I wanted it to. Passenger state is waiting. That should be correct. Maybe target floor minus one isn't doing it. Anyway, when I set it to board, I should just make it minus one. And zero. I think that will make more sense. Now oh, this guy is actually gonna go inside, yeah. Let's let's make it minus three or something to to get them inside the elevator. So boarding, 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 and everybody's embarked. The question is, what happens when I get up here? So they go disembark, and then they go wait, and then they go boarding again. Oh, I think I know why. No, I don't. Let's uh, let's debug this. Everybody on. Put a breakpoint there. Go to the next floor. Everybody gets off. We hit the breakpoint. Like where? Request elevator passenger. So passengers current floor. Right, this is this is messed up. Yeah, I, I know what's going on here. 
So this is making all the passengers on the floor get on the elevator regardless. And that's not what we want. Um, so let's just do a little function for this. Like if passenger can board. This goes on the passenger, like right here. So if the passenger's current floor is not the same as the elevator's current floor, we're going to return false. If the passenger state, I'm gonna flip all these is not waiting, we're going to return false. Or if, and actually I don't even need passenger here because we're inside the passenger. Uh, if the uh, target floor is equal to minus one, we will also return false. And this function will update it later with like, you know, so someone going up won't board an elevator that's going down and stuff like that. Right, and it needs to return true. I don't even remember why I put that there. Oh, right, right, that's from before. So everybody's boarding. Going to the next floor. Who's getting off? Disembark, disembark into park, and they go into waiting, and they should be ordered by that. That's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I suppose the passenger should be requesting. So whenever the passenger actually um, disembarks, it should request the building to like, okay, tell me where to go, like where to stand in line. So arrived at position. Do, 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 do. Let's do, let's do a disembark complete as well. Oh, it has a reference to building update queue positions. Now, what is actually calling the boarding complete function? Where's that coming from? Nothing? Right, so this is, this is probably a better way of hooking it up. So boarding complete. It goes into elevating. If it's disembarking, then it's disembark complete. It should be board complete. Um, and it will set the state to waiting. Maybe this will work better. Missing semicolon? Unacceptable. Board, 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 board. <laughs> so maybe that was silly of me. Um, 
I'm going to let everybody board completely first before I do anything. Here, and then disembark, disembark, and it crashes in the disembark function. Why does it crash in the disembark function? Four passengers, a passenger in disembark. Well, if it doesn't have an elevator, it will return false always. I'm not entirely sure why that's happening now, but I'm gonna assume it's something to do with the the guys that arrived at the correct floor because they're new. I should make them faster, it's really annoying to wait for them, but hey, what can you do? Crashing again? False? I should return false. It's just appalling programming. Everybody gets on the elevator. Everybody gets off the elevator. Now they're waiting. That's just beautiful. Look at that. And the elevator should be empty at this floor. Amazing. Purely amazing. So if I let the passengers actually randomize their... Um, target positions again. And... We'll make them a little bit faster. Do a constant for that. Settings, play, passenger. Walk, speed maybe, or maybe just speed. I don't even need. Let's make them twice as fast. Oh, I was gonna add more passengers too, but hey. Can't have it all. Doing, doing. Two people in the elevator. Gets off, gets on. This is pretty cool. Now we could add, I can actually add a limit to the elevator. Do I have it like a max passengers? I do not. Let's do public war max passengers. And that will be an integer and let's say five passengers maximum. And then the passenger will decide can board if Elevator has room. And we'll make a function like that on the elevator or a, a property. This is going to be a get function. Uh, Yeah, the, the passengers uh, used to have the, the number of the floor they were going to over their head. I replaced it with something else at some point. But I will actually going to bring it back once I've, I've done this, because that would be nice to have. Room, return, non passenger. Gonna get rid of this color changing nonsense. 
And I am going to add the floor they want to be on. It should be bool. Oh, right. Here we go. I'm going to have to take a little break in if just a, just a minute or two. Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to move the text up. Twenty pixels. Oh, I moved everything up because I am an idiot. Text Y minus passenger height times three, maybe. Look at these guys. So now all of these shouldn't be able to get on because the elevator is full. Haha, <laughs> that's beautiful. Get off. That was way fewer than um, five passengers, though. Oh, one. Really? Did I just massively mess up the, the Hass room thing? No passengers. Is the length of the, I, I, I bet, whoops, 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 whoops. Um, I bet that it's not actually removing the passengers properly. So like here, when it's disembarking, it the elevator should be, I did remove them somewhere. Who's telling them to disembark? No one is, that's not true. I don't need much of that now. I'm just going to need eight passengers. That makes little to no sense. So let's let's go over this flow once again. So the, the the elevator says to the game, it's like, hey, or to the building, it's like, hey, I'd like some passengers, please. Uh, so if the passenger can board the elevator. Actually, to make it easier on myself, I am going to make max passengers be one. And we're going to add debug text for that as well. Max passengers and then has to make sure. What does sound bad mean? Like it's lagging or whatever?
Hey, I got a visitor. Sorry about that. I got a robot voice. How is that a bad thing? Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think there's that much I can do about it, actually. Maybe. We can try this. This is probably, this is probably going to, uh, make the audio out of sync with the video but it might not lag as much or like robot voice as much uh, so where were we we are trying to work out where it is uh, elevator has room here's a list of one This is really hard to follow. No passengers, two. Max passengers, one. That's no good. Yao Dane. See if that helps. Uh, okay. So how can it allow more passengers than... This is, this is quite mysterious, I must say. Passenger. Can board at the elevator. So the, the question is like, how, how do these people get into the elevator? What if we make this always return false? What would happen then? Is it even, does it even care? Apparently it does.
So it's checking continuously. That's Let's try it from the top again. So if that's one guy board. Oh, I see. I think I know what's going on. This little elevator guy. He has a list of passengers. I think, and this is nearly impossible to see from. Um, I think it gets the same passenger twice. I think that's what's going on. So passenger board elevator. Let's see what that looks like. It adds add passenger. There might be more where that came from. We'll see. So it's adding a passenger. Yes, and it's adding a passenger again. Let's 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 do it again and actually keep track of the ID of that that passenger. You only have 15 minutes to go on this stream. It's two hours. This is my uh, my entirely arbitrary limit. So this passenger has the hex address of 4B6849. Boom, 4B684D9. Right, so when the boarding is complete, it adds itself again, and we don't want to do that. Or do we? No, we don't. I think we just fixed that bug. So very clever. Go away, breakpoint. One passenger. That's not quite the floor I clicked on, but whatever. Gets on. Leaves. Someone else gets on. We go to the third floor. Gets off, gets on. That seems to be working. Uh, so actually let's set, so when it's entering the elevator. Minus elevator num passengers. Let's, let's do that and see. And let's also remember to increase the maximum number of passengers for the elevator. Whoop, max passengers, five. Why do I set a limit on these? Because I, I want to, <laughs> I want to drink beer. Everybody gets on two passengers out of five. More people getting on. Oh, I'm sorry. Elevator's full. These guys lining up. So beautiful. And that guy leaves. And nobody here wants to. Yes, they do. Getting on the elevator is so beautiful. have the elevator actually be responsible for the positioning of everybody inside of it. 
which is not going to be that much of a hassle, I don't think. I have time to fix that. So the build is a function called something like update positions. Um, I suppose it should have a same similar function for the, the, the elevator. Let's let's do one public function update queue positions. So for every passenger in passengers, it will go passenger set queue set. What did I name that function? Set set position. Set queue position. There's still some queue stuff left in here. So let's just do a simple counter for those guys. I plus plus. Yeah, I'm 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 sorry about the voice. Is it unlistenable? I don't want to spend five minutes fixing it when there's just 10 minutes left on the stream. Um, you know what I can do? I can just do this. It will probably be a lot better. So whenever it adds a passenger, it will update the queue positions. Now let's let's do that. And this means that the passenger isn't actually setting its own queue position when it's boarding. So we'll get rid of that. And I have no idea if this is gonna work. I got one. So he's still embarking. Why is that? Yeah, I'm I'm sorry about the audio crap. Uh Let's do that. I want to see what happens here. So now it added a passenger. We set the queue position of this passenger to zero. That doesn't make sense. That's why it's not working. So let's 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 do that. Minus two, minus one. Minus two minus I rather. That's an old one. Go away. Maybe it wasn't. Go away. Let's see. That is just beautiful. Now the elevator is full, you guys, well, they're going to leave, so you can get on. Through a, a lucky, lucky break, there was room for everybody, which means I want to add more passengers. Bing, 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 bing. Get on, get on, get off. Gets off, gets on, a bunch of people. Pretty cool. Three. Um, 
passengers. That's, I think I'm going to actually replace the elevator's movement with that same thing, just because the movement for the elevator is just a giant mess right now. It has some, some benefits, but not enough that I want to deal with the You can go here, and you can go here. Very, very nice. I think that's some, some good progress for, for today. Uh, I am going to uh, commit all this. Passengers enter and leave elevators in a sensible way commit that and i am going to do that i think that was some some good progress today um still have no idea where i'm going with this but that's cool i mean the programming's why we're here anyway um and i won't be home next friday i'll be at fantastic arcade um, checking that out in Austin in Texas so there won't be a stream uh, next week uh, and yeah I, I mean not even enough not even close enough to progress to good progress I, I, I can't even make out what you're saying game development is it's slow sometimes um, this is four hours of work still so I think we're doing pretty well uh, and we had to deal with some some tricky stuff, um, which is now sorted, which means we can do cooler stuff next week. We can do, uh, uh, or next time, um, we can deal with uh, the elevator stuff and how that's going to work. And like starting and stopping at floors and speeding up the elevator a little bit, maybe adding a second elevator, see what that works, works like. Um, we're going to have to add so that we actually get rid of passengers. Like right now they get off of the floor, but they don't go away. Um, stuff like that. So there's still lots and lots of stuff to do. And I'll see you in a while.